doll friends, it's Ambie from Little Plastic Friends, and I am here with another video. This one is probably going to be a little less organized. Let's just say that. Um, I wanted to come on and talk about the ILY dolls and the ILY accessory packs and just some of the details in the clothes um, and kind of the fit. So I had attempted to make a doll opening video for the I Love Mini. This girl right here, she's adorable. She's one, she came from Target. I believe she's, she. if you find them with the painted eyes, I believe those are the Jack Specifics and they are at Target for the aisle wise. Um, but they have just as much detail. They come with multiple outfits. Really cute. She came with this little outfit. Um, they are jointed. Look at those. I mean, look at the bottom of the shoes. So cute. So she came with that little outfit, just t-shirt and skirt. She also came with this outfit. Um, I mean, and look at this little purse. So cute. Little gym shoes. Now, I will say, the shoes are too big. Everything's a little big on this doll. This is my Disney Store Rapunzel. Just the basic doll. But I think it looks great on her. So, um, but that was the second outfit that came with her. So, some of them come with extra outfits. Some of them don't. Um, the Disney Store dolls have the glass inset, glass or plastic, I'm not sure which, but they have the inset eyes. This girl was one of the first ones that came out. She was the Snow White inspired. Um, and right now I have her in the, I think it's Big Thunder Mountain outfit. Really cute. And everything just fits them really well. And I mean, look at the details. Now it's not a working pocket, but it has printing, a tie on the shirt, the shirt silk screened. We have little charms on the bag. We have wilderness back here, kind of a leathery, pleathery strap. Really cute shoes. And a lot of the shoes have painted detail and stuff like that. She also came with her, her ears. So, well, she didn't, the outfit did. Um, so you get a lot of little details with it. Her original outfit, oh my gosh, it was so cute. Here are the ears for that. She came with little little shredded overalls and you know, it is it is a denim fabric. It's a very 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 thin denim fabric, but it's denim. This really cute puff sleeve pleated little shirt and I like I wanted to point out too I like the way that they do their velcro it's like a separate piece and you just kind of butt the other side up to it so the fabric isn't actually overlapping which helps keep the bulk down which is nice um she came with that she came with this she came with the adorable apple sweater um and I will admit, there's probably something. I'm sure her shoes, I'll try to look and see if I can find her shoes. I think these were the glasses that came with her. Maybe, maybe not. Um, once I get these, I just basically dump them into, <laughs> into just a big bag. So everything gets all jumbled up. Um, like I have my a bag of shoes right here. Um, I think these were... The shoes that came with her. Little apple shoes. Very cute. Um, trying to see. Oh, here's another pair of shoes that's really cute. I think these came with the Alice in Wonderland clothing set. I'm not sure who that came with. And that's cool. That's a Maleficent. Um, these may have come with Ursula. Who knows? These are the shoes. That, okay. She did come with extra stuff. 
these are the shoes that came on the meat outfit. Okay, so you see what I'm talking about. Um, these little, little Encanto shoes came with this outfit that my Blythe is wearing. And you can see the sleeves are way too long, but it's still really cute. I don't know if you can see the, um, maybe a little bit, the glitter, There's some glitter thread. And it is actually a knit piece. Um, there's some little stud details that are just painted buttons. Um, and some little iron-on cute decorations on it. So as you can see, you can make some of the pieces work for Blythe. Let's put her back here. Um, but these were the shoes that went with that outfit. So now they go in the bag with everything else. Um, another fun thing that they do, they do great socks. This is the weirdest thing. I pulled out a bunch of socks. So we have a little tube sock. We have kind of a, uh, I don't even know what you call it, just a square pattern, but a printed pattern sock. These are some sparkly mesh tights. And then this is another printed sock that came with one of the one of the boy outfits. And this I thought was really cute. Hold on. Let me get that. It's got a fuzzy on it. But it has a little pom-pom. So cute. And the little pom-pom sock goes with this little wintry uh, skirt, kind of a Nordic pattern, a little mousse, and then check out this little coat. I mean, it's a puffer coat. It's got an elastic sleeve. Now it doesn't have any kind of closure, but it has like a gathered little elastic sleeve. Really nice, not lined, well, sort of lined, I guess that is lining, but not, you know, full line down the sleeves and all that. Really cute. Okay, sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. Um, trying to think a lot of times, I don't, I use this shirt for my Blythes a lot. I think it's really cute. And it came with the Snow White skirt and one of these pairs of shoes. Um, the Tiana New Orleans shirt. I've used that a lot. And it came with this little little jumper with these little buttons on it. Just Velcros in the back. Really cute. Um, let's see. This is a Rapunzel sweatshirt with their like buttonholes, but they're made to look like grommets. So they're sewn. Uh, with the ribbon running through it, both sides, really cute. I think that came with a pair of shorts. The Maleficent one came with this really detailed iridescent pink, purple, blue biker jacket. Lots of details. Real, like, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Metal, pretty cool. Um, really neat. Just really neat. Um, let's see. This is one of the, one of the boy outfits, but I use it on the girls too. This is for Beast and it's just that little piece sewn in. So when you put it on, it looks like he's got a hoodie on underneath, which is kind of cute. Um, but it's got the slashes in it. it. Has a patch right there. Nice, really nice material. Now, it's, of course, everybody talks about this material down the road disintegrating, but for now, it's great. He also has his beast crossbody bag with his furry strap and a little tail, which I think is cute. And then his pants are pretty cool. Now, I will say... His clothes, I don't think they fit Ken. I can't remember, but 
but I will say his shoes absolutely fit Ken. I think the boy clothes do better on the girls versus a Ken doll. Um, but the, the shoes, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Shoes do great. Um, let's see. This new girl, new mini, came with a Sherpa type sweater. This one, oh, oh God, Rapunzel, all that hair. Okay, let's see. This is my Ursula. She's one of my favorites. And I put her in this Minnie Mouse outfit, but I left her Ursula. Man, she's got some kick-ass boots. I put her, I left her in her boots. So, but she can stand on her own in these boots. They're nice and big and sturdy. Um, let's see. This is, this is the Bambi doll. And she's got the sweetest, she has the sweetest collection. Um, the thing with, I guess these Jack Specific dolls came with multiple outfits. I'm trying to think if they all did. I feel like Ursula came with, with an extra outfit. Um... I don't think I brought, did I? Oh, I did bring over Ursula's outfit. I'll show you her outfit here in just a second. Okay. Oh my God, I'm all over the place. Okay. So, so this is the Bambi one. She's got the little deer on her purse. She's got the little deer spotted shoes. Really sweet. Um, and then I dressed one of the other girls who I think... I can't remember who she was inspired by. Tiana, originally, maybe. Um, or Ariel. I can't remember. She might have been the Ariel-inspired doll. But check out that purse. I mean, come on. And she's got the Bambi sweatshirt. Really cool boots. And super 70s. Now, it's just printed. But super 70s. Very soft, great material little skirt, little mini skirt. And I don't know where the glasses came from, but they're part of the Disney Isle Y. Um, one of the things I thought I might try to do is I have a Poppy Parker who is quite a bit thinner. And I thought it might be interesting to see if I can find a combination of things that might work for her. So I'm going to dig around in this and let's see if we can find something that works for a poppy. Okay, so surprisingly, this totally fits. I love the shirt on her. She does need some different shoes. I think it looks really cute. And she's just a beautiful doll anyway. Um, so we've got Blythe. Some things will work. Poppy Parker. Some things will work. Looks like um, Disney Store Dolls. Some things will work. And looks like most things will work on the Disney Store Dolls. Barbie. Some things. These all look pretty good. So I think, um, I think I'm going to try one more outfit on her. Just to kind of test the... I want to see how this big fluffy coat looks on her with that shirt and then maybe a pair of jeans. I thought that might be, might be kind of cute. I don't know how the jeans are going to do. So hold on again. We'll be right back. Okay. So it will work. It is, um, it's pretty big, but it's not bad. I think actually the arm length at first I thought was too short, but if you just pull it up, it really does work. Oh, she looks great. I also had a thought about um, if these pants, because let me show you, pants are definitely too big in the waist. You can see, like, there's that much that could be taken in. Um, and it's funny because she has 
she has little pink underwear on from her last outfit. So she's, she's covered. Um, but I was thinking maybe some of the fashion royalty dolls, because their bodies are a little bigger. I wonder how they would fit. Um, because Poppy's stuff is specifically Poppy-sized. So, I think I see a doll over there. I may grab one, and I may try the pants on one of those ladies. Okay, well, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I'm going to do, I believe this is Nadja Reigns, if I'm saying that right. But you can see, no, Poppy's on her flat feet, but she is bigger. So let's, let's take the pants off and let's see how we can do with the, the jeans from the ILY collection. Okay, so these pants look great on her now. They fit a little better. Uh, they're still big. Still big. But with the purple and the shoes. Oh my gosh. And her shirt matches perfectly. Her earrings even have some purple in them. Um, and she... She's a gorgeous doll, but I think this is going to be her new look for a couple reasons. One, I think it looks fantastic on her. I am going to have to sit her down, though. Um, I think it looks fantastic on her. And two, I don't know that I will ever be able to get these pants back on her again. Um, <laughs> so, integrity, the... We talk about quality all the time. This stuff is, it's, it's crazy. So I don't know if you can see those tiny little loops and these hooks. Okay, so sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. So you gotta get those right on while it's on her body. And I mean, it fits, it fits like a glove. Like, I can't even do it just here looking. Um, anyway, then she has this kind of patenty leather vinyl belt with true belt loops, right? And I want to, um, I want to point out too, and this doll's from a couple years ago. Um, okay. So you can see it's just, there's lining here in the front. The fabric's really thick, really nice. And uh, like I said, it fits her like a absolute glove. This doll, she was a club upgrade doll. So when, um, this is probably something I should save for another video, but it's fine. When you join the W Club, I think it's like 50 bucks a year. You get the option to buy some upgrade dolls right there at the beginning. And then it takes, you know, six months probably to get the dolls. Like for this year's club. And it the club starts at a weird time of the year. It starts around like April or May or something. March, April, May, somewhere in there. So that's the beginning. We still have not gotten our upgrade dolls from this year, which is fine. Um, but what you do is you put a deposit down and they go ahead and they make the doll for you. So she was one of the upgrade dolls. Incredible. She comes with jewelry, tons of jewelry. She came with earrings, bracelet, a teeny tiny ring, these beautiful shoes, um, the pants that fit like a glove, this shirt that's actually like two layers. Um, it's like an overshirt and then like a bustier kind of situation. She comes with the new face, uh, Dior, the Christian Dior knockoff bag, cat eye sunglasses. Um, she also came with this tiny little fake Jacquemus bag. Um, 
So she came with a bunch of stuff. I get the impression the new ones are just not coming with that level of items. Um, we'll probably get, I think this year they come, you know, clothed and then probably with jewelry, but that's about it. I don't know if I, I don't recall seeing any kind of bags with them. Um, but we'll see. We'll see when they get here. I'll do a box opening on those. But anyway, there's, there's basically two size dolls and she's one of the, the larger, uh, she might, she might be 11 inches. Let me see something. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna stand her next to Barbie and I'm gonna put Barbie on her tiptoes. Let's do that. Yeah, she's definitely bigger than Barbie. So Barbie on her tiptoes and she, she kind of dwarfs her. Um, so they're an interesting scale of doll. They're bigger than Barbie, but they're not really big. They're, they're, they're Barbie size, but bigger, if that makes sense. Like they're not out of control big. So, but yeah. And then Poppy is more like Barbie scale. Hold on. Sorry. We'll go back to Barbie. I just want to show off my ideal because I just fixed her face. Well, her head. Um, so yeah, see, she's a lot closer. She's got on some thicker shoes, so. But they're a lot closer in scale. But they all have the applied lashes, and oh, they're so nice. And their hands, oh, their hands are crazy. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. Manicured. Just lovely sculpting. So anyway. Well, this was kind of a weird rambling video that's going to be way too long. And I'm probably going to have to do voiceover and chop it way down. <laughs> but that's okay. It's fine. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do tonight. I just knew... Thought that'd well, be kind of fun to make something. So, all right. Well, that's all I've got for tonight. I'm gonna see what I can make out of this video.